In the United States today, there are tens of millions of reported cases of clinical depression. Clinical depression doesn't mean, oh, I'm blue, I'm down. Clinical depression means I don't want to get out of bed. Life is just empty, vacuous. And interestingly enough, science allows us to understand that but a small fraction of those tens of millions of cases have an attributable cause. An attributable cause is a reason. If a woman was married for 35 years and she loses her husband, that's an attributable cause. That's a reason why she'll have to work on not being depressed. If you have a genetic predisposition, a gift from your parents, that's an attributable cause. But science lets us know that only 16% of the cases of reported clinical depressions have an attributable cause. Of the tens of millions of cases, but a small fraction have an actual reason that we can identify. And the question is, what about the rest of them? Viktor Frankl was a Viennese psychiatrist. Viktor Frankl was also a Jew, although he didn't know it, but it was quickly made clear to him on the train to Auschwitz that he belonged to a select nation. He survived the concentration camps, and he <clears throat> lived, and he wrote a book called Man in Search of Meaning. The first part of the book is in his tale of what it was like living through Auschwitz, but the second part is even more telling because he explains that he opened up his practice again on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. He had been a world-famous psychiatrist. He put out a shingle, and very quickly his practice was filled. But he describes that the cases that he was dealing with now, the symptoms that were appearing in front of him, were things that he didn't recognize. A woman would come in and he would say, Ma'am, what's the matter? Well, Doc, I'm depressed. I'm sorry, is it your marriage? No. Your job? No. Your kids? No. So why are you depressed? I don't know, Doc, that's why I'm here. A middle-aged man would come in and he would say, What can I do for you? Well, Doc, I'm depressed. Is it your business? No. Is it your golf buddies? No. Your card game? What's your problem? I don't know, Doc, that's why I'm here. And patient after patient would come in without an attributable cause. And his conclusion from a psychiatric vantage point was these people were depressed because they lacked purpose, they lacked meaning in life. And his perspective is that man without purpose, man without meaning will be depressed, should be depressed. And he got it right. And there's a specific reason why. Because Hashem took me from under the Kisei cover, from under the throne of glory, and put me into this thing called life. Hashem gave me a mission. Hashem gave me a purpose. And when I live that mission, when I live that purpose, there's an inner harmony, there's an inner balance, there's a sinking up of I with I, and there's happiness. But when you live your life for any other purpose, whether it be acquisition of money and luxuries, whether it be for your reputation, whether it be for any of the many distractions that happen in our day and age. If you're not growing, if you're not fundamentally living a life of purpose, you should be depressed and you will be depressed. The Torah is the remedy because it gives us purpose, gives us reason. It allows us to live a life the way Hashem designed to live a happy, fulfilling life.